Hi everyone, back again. Okay, got some pretty exciting stuff. So I guess you'd call this the Slayer Exciter circuit. Um, but I've got it running on a, with a three coil magnifier type system. Um, so uh, I've got the bottom primary tapped in uh, every turn there. And uh, I've got it tapped on the second last one. Uh, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine turns to choose from. Uh, and I grab the eighth turn there um, with a kind of a slim beer can on the top there, covered up, just to keep it all around. Um, and I've got three LEDs here. Running on the uh, one double A rechargeable, so I'm going to uh, build a filtering network. But uh, obviously, I've got this AC waveform on the uh, negative uh, current resistor there, and uh, if we were running 400 milliamps with uh, this little transistor, it would be just burning. And uh, that's just not the case. So, um, yeah, I usually touch the transistor and then touch the corner of my uh, skin right next to my eye there just so you can feel the temperature. Because with your finger you just can't tell sometimes. Um, but, uh, yeah, these are really nice and bright. And I've got the base of the... Uh, second area of the three coil system uh, running to the base of the transistor there and um, uh, there's a few components not used here I'll just take these out okay so you can see there basically all the connections uh, this green wire at the top is uh, positive coming in it's an NPN uh, uh, two 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 transistor there. Um, I imagine it would work with a variety of different ones, but uh, that's the one I'm using there. Uh, the LEDs were. It was interesting. Uh, with one, I couldn't get it very bright, and then the, there was two, and then I put uh, like six, and I uh, couldn't get any of them lit, so I uh, turned it back down or sorry, I uh, adjusted it to uh, 4, and then it wasn't that bright, and 3, for some reason, was uh, the magic number with this particular uh, voltage, I guess, going in. And uh, what's cool is the uh, resistor, when it's not kind of in resonance, um, you, you know, you get this increase or decrease in uh, brightness, and then it pops up to what I'd call resonance uh, when you get it so that you know proximity kills the uh, the lights and then touching it entirely makes it go right out um, so I've got uh, the tuning by variable capacitor here and uh, I forget what it is I think it's just uh, 0 to 4 or 500 picos on that tuning uh, capacitor um, and then yeah once it's once it's running you can take off the base connection uh, resistor and it has no effect because the base of the secondary is uh, triggering the, the base of the resistor at that point. Uh, so anyway, you can have it attached or not, but if you turn it off, then you won't be able to restart it until you get that first uh, cycle of, uh, of power there. Hmm, can't reach it with, anyway, with one finger. So I'll just leave that disconnected. So I guess... Uh, Aside from building a filtering network to really find out what's going in, I'm just going to let it run for uh, 
however long and uh, see, how, see when it dies and then based on the milliamp hours in the battery and uh, the number of hours it ran <coughs> you know without getting uselessly dim uh, we'll see how long that runs it's pretty cool and running on the uh, three coil LC system pretty cool it's gonna have a uh, schematic but uh, you can pretty much see all the connections there um, if you need one I can draw one out but uh, there's a lot of them out there and <laughs> probably better than the one I would draw um, but yeah I'm really pleased with this uh, so um, can I can kind of disconnect this and show you the field around the uh, coil so I'll just uh, so 0 0.1 volts per division and uh, we'll back up over here but uh, I want to show you the field intensity without uh, okay so back over here right now and I'll just zoom in on that so now I'll get closer to it I'm right about here right now I'm gonna uh, zoom out yeah, I can't get a picture Sorry, you guys. Can't seem to uh, see it on the computer. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. Okay. I'll go back here. See that yet? <laughs> this has never happened before. I just can't seem to uh, get this on the screen. Must be too bright or something. Okay, well, sorry about this. Um, I was hoping to show you the uh, the field around this thing. Okay, maybe I have to. Uh, I don't care. Well, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty impressive, anyway. Uh, the field that you can get around this thing. Come on. Anyway, without wasting any more of your time, I'll uh, let you uh, just uh, see that. Alright, so I'm going to do this up with a little higher power and find out just how different load points and uh, that sort of thing and uh, what transistors work better than others uh, if I can use uh, power MOSFETs up to, you know, 100 watts and beyond that would be pretty interesting uh, uh, G Bluer or uh, Slayer himself has you know, said that these transistors don't even really get warm with uh, this type of oscillation, so uh, I just wonder how far you could push it. Um, and uh, I've put about uh, 50 watts through this coil, and it was starting to jump across the uh, 
primary to secondary at the very bottom there at those uh, uh, power levels and uh, that was putting high voltage into the primary so um, I think just anything that's going to be coming out of a low voltage battery is going to be pretty controllable um, I've got like I said nine turns on the primary roughly 30 turns on the uh, secondary and um, uh, several hundred turns on the resonator and um, I didn't really count I just uh, measured what two and a half times the resonator length would be so uh, that's how I established the length on that and then I've actually um, wound a, a second um, twin coil wound reversed and um, there's some pretty cool things that happen here I can show you um, if I short uh, the untuned primary on this thing and then I approach oops <laughs> put it right out oh wow I murdered the thing <laughs> All right, that's the end of that. Talk to you guys later. Bye. There must have been so much uh, reaction from this coil being next to it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to switch transistors. Um, actually, we'll see if we can do that right now on the same tape or on the same video. Just uh, bear with me here. I'm just going to end this and do a part two.